Welcome to Learning with Letters, where parents and caregivers and their pre-kindergarten children have fun learning together, where adults wear their play clothes and see the world through their child's eyes. Today, we're shopping for a pumpkin to carve into a jack-o'-lantern. And when we get back and start carving, we'll sing some fun pumpkin songs and hear a great story about how pumpkins grow. So let's get started. Before we begin carving, let's sing a fun pumpkin song together. Sing along if you know the words. Once I was a pumpkin, a pumpkin, a pumpkin. Once I was a pumpkin with no face at all, with no eyes and no nose, no mouth and no teeth. Once I was a pumpkin with no face at all. So I carved a jack-o'-lantern, a jack-o'-lantern, a jack-o'-lantern. So I carved a jack-o'-lantern with two eyes and a big nose and a big mouth and big teeth. So I carved a jack-o'-lantern with a big happy face. Did you hear some words that I kept repeating in this song? Singing and hearing words over and over again help a child to remember beginning and ending word sounds like pumpkin and jack-o'-lantern. So let's begin carving. And I would recommend that your child first draw triangles for the face, features, the nose, first the eyes, finishes drawing the eyes and nose and mouth, then you can begin to carve the pumpkin. Always keep the blade of the knife facing away from you. Ooh, that was easy. That was easy. Did a little cutting ahead of time just so it would be a little easier to remove some of these pieces. But now, and I already cut the top off to make it easier for us to pull out all the seeds. We're going to save all the seeds and then roast them later on to make a delicious and nutritious snack. There's many, many seeds in here, so we'll have plenty for a delicious snack. It's so gooey and mushy, and you and your child can take turns digging in and digging out some of these wonderful, nutritious seeds. I think we have them all out. I'll wash my hands and I'll be right back. Let's learn how pumpkins grow with a book called Pumpkin Jack. 
written and illustrated by Will Hubble about a young boy who watched his favorite jack-o'-lantern turn into a new seedling. Pumpkin Jack, written and illustrated by Will Hubble. When Tim carved his first pumpkin, it was fierce and funny and just perfect. A jack-o'-lantern this good deserved a name, so Tim gave it one, Jack. Long after the best trick-or-treat candy was eaten, Tim still kept Jack. At night, when a candle made Jack's face dance on the wall and filled the dark with warm pumpkin smells, Tim felt Jack was almost magic. Yet too soon, the spell was broken. This pumpkin is beginning to rot, announced Mom. It's time to throw it out. Tim knew it was useless to argue. He carried Jack to the garden, which was filled with the brown ghosts of last summer's plants. A dead garden is better than a trash can, thought Tim. Still, it made him sad to leave Jack outside and alone. Whenever chores or play brought Tim to the garden, he looked at Jack. Every time Jack was different, he became wrinkled and his fierce smile began to look silly. Winter began. Soon Jack was hidden beneath snow and Tim forgot about him. The cold, heavy jacket days came. Snowman and sliding days. Indoor days, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and Valentine's. When all these days had passed and the March winds melted the snow, Tim found Jack. When spring turned barefoot warm, a tiny sprout appeared where Jack had been. Tim found it and guessed what it was. In the days that followed, Tim weeded and watered and watched the sprout. Slowly and steadily, the plant changed and grew. It branched and spread a web of vines over the ground, but no pumpkins appeared. The days turned hot. Flowers opened on the plant each morning. Yellow stars that twisted shut forever in the afternoon. Still, there were no pumpkins. It's fun to sing songs about pumpkins, especially when they rhyme. So sing along with me if you know the words. This song is called Five Little Pumpkins. Five little pumpkins sitting on a gate. The first one said, oh my, it's getting late. The second one said, there are witches in the air. The third one said, I don't care. The fourth one said, come on, let's run. The fifth one said, we're ready for some fun. Ooh, went the wind and out went the lights. And the five little pumpkins rolled out of sight. Did you hear the rhyming words in the song, gate and late, air and care, run and fun, and light and sight? Listening for rhyming words in songs helps young children to develop phonological awareness or the ability to hear beginning sounds in words and ending sounds that sound alike. Play a rhyming game with your children after you sing. Ask them to think of a word that rhymes with the word in the song, gate or late. Maybe date or air and care. Maybe fair. How about run and fun? Um, sun and light, light and sight. How about bright? Playing games with rhyming words 
and hearing Dr. Seuss and Mother Goose rhymes give young children opportunities to hear rhyming sounds over and over so they remember similarly sounding words. Reading and spelling are skills that are enhanced when children can hear ending sounds in words. I'd like to share a rhyming story with you about a pumpkin called the Ugly Pumpkin, written and illustrated by Dave Horowitz. This is a story about a pumpkin who didn't seem to fit in with other pumpkins in the patch. Until one day... The Ugly Pumpkin, written and illustrated by Dave Horowitz. I am the ugly pumpkin, as you can plainly see. Of 100,000 pumpkins, none are quite like me. Since early in October, I've been waiting to get picked. But each time things start looking up, I end up getting tricked. A skeleton came for pumpkins one bright and crispy day. I asked if I could get a ride. He laughed and said, no way. I am the ugly pumpkin, I shouted to the sky. And then it started raining, so I began to cry. I took shelter in a garden that was overrun with squash. I noticed something very odd and then thought, oh my gosh. We had a busy day today, shopping for a pumpkin to carve into a jack-o'-lantern, saving the pumpkin seeds to roast later, for a nutritious snack, singing rhyming songs about pumpkins, listening to a story that rhymed about pumpkins, and reading a story about how pumpkin seeds take root in a field and grow into new pumpkins. dialoguing with your child all week long about all our pumpkin activities, carving the pumpkin, singing, rhyming books, and learning how pumpkins grow should be continually shared between you and your child. These discussions will reinforce word endings that sound alike, known as phonological awareness. Remembering story elements such as main idea and sequence of events as well as sharing a hands-on activity of carving your pumpkin that you will enjoy watching all lit up on your windowsill or front step. Most importantly, have fun learning.